Uh, Tulane yeah. in East uh, Carolina, I believe, is the uh, next game. Yeah, there is. Uh, yeah, Tulane in East Carolina, and then Boston College, Clemson. Uh, is after that. But first, uh, Tulane and East Carolina. We've got Tulane, four-point road favorites in this one. Uh, the total uh, sitting at uh, 64 uh, in this game. Uh, and that's what I bet. I looked at the total in this game. I'm on over 64 uh, with Tulane uh, and East Carolina. Uh, two teams I like on the offensive side of the football. I'm, I'm liking what I'm – I've obviously liked Michael Pratt and the Tulane offense. I've said that all year. I've sung their praises. Uh, that this is a very good offense. He's going to be, I think, a, he's a, he is a solid quarterback. And look, the last two weeks, you played Ole Miss on the road. You only scored 21 in that game, but you moved the ball. They turned it over a few times. Uh, and then against UAB, they lost 28-21 on Saturday, but UAB's got a very good defense. I don't think East Carolina is the defense that Ole Miss is. I don't think East Carolina is the defense that UAB is. And I think that's going to show here uh, in this game uh, against Tulane. I think that Tulane offense moves the ball. On the flip side, I think East Carolina with Holton Aylers at, at quarterback, um, their offense has been pretty good, especially the last few weeks. I mean, against App State, they struggled a bit. Um, but really the last couple of games since then against Marshall, they put up a 42 spot uh, in that game or so, uh, and came back to win against the Thundering Herd. Last game again in there, which was an FCS opponent, they played Charleston Southern. They were uh, got up big. Uh, 24 points in the first half, and then their defense kind of fell apart late, and that's the issue with ECU. They don't have a great defense still, uh, and they get, allowed you know Charleston Southern to get right back into that game on Saturday, uh, and uh, you know now they're facing a very very dynamic two lane offense. East Carolina doesn't play extreme tempo, but they don't plod along either. They're about above average tempo. Tulane does play a very fast tempo. So you're going to get a decent amount of pace offensively with both of these teams. And I just think I trust both teams more offensively than defensively right now. So for me, it's the total here. Tulane ECU over 64. Uh, Connor, any thoughts on this game? Yeah, I look over too. I know at 64 it's high, but Tulane's defense isn't very good. And East Carolina, I think, is even worse. This one could just go back and forth, back and forth. But on the side, um, I, I like Tulane, but this is where I like East Carolina. It's just four. Um, I might even take a money line, split my bet. Um, but Aylers, he can sling it around, I think, at home. Uh, they're a lot better than on the road. And I think they're in this game. I take the four points with East Carolina um, in this spot. And, yeah, I think it can get over this total. I think this uh, both defenses are bad. I've seen East Carolina, and I've seen a little Tulane. I remember I watched the, you know, the first game with Oklahoma. And a couple of the games last week. So no defense uh, in this one. So lean over. All right. Lean over and also lean a uh, home underdog here. Uh, yeah. East Carolina for uh, Connor Mack.